The cross product is great, but that formula can sure seem intimidating when you're first trying to remember it. What can you do to really internalize what is happening with the cross product formula? Now, one thing I recommend is working with the standard basis vectors. So recall the i, j, and k vectors, the unit vectors along the x, y, and z axes. These have some very nice properties with respect to the cross product. For example, i cross j is k, and j cross i by anti-commutativity must be equal to minus k, and j cross k is i, and k cross j is blah, 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 whatever. Oh, here's another long list of things to memorize, but this is not so bad because you can encode them in the following cyclic diagram. You take two of the terms, let's say k cross i, and because it follows the, the ordering, the orientation of this diagram, you know that k cross i is j, and j cross k is i, and i cross j is k. But if you reverse the ordering, then you get a minus sign. So i cross k is minus j. Now what I like about this is that it makes it easier to remember all of the formulae associated with cross products, plus it reinforces the geometry of what is happening, encoding both the mutual orthogonality and the right-hand rule. This is useful even in explicit examples. Let's say I ask you to compute the cross product of uh, u for 0, 2 with v, 0, 3, negative 1. Simply write these vectors out in terms of their i, j, k components, and then perform the multiplication as if you were multiplying polynomials together. But you have to keep track of the terms. i cross j is equal to k. i cross k is equal to minus j. k cross j is minus i, and k cross k, of course, is zero. And then you very quickly and simply get an answer in terms of i, j, k components. This is very simple to do.